This video contains strong language from the outset and throughout, if you easily take offence. Previously on Football Clubs From Hell, Gordon became the manager of Scottish football club Queen's Park. However, his first league game to Annan ended in a 2-0 defeat. Has he managed to rally his troops and turn things around? Find out in episode 2 of Football Clubs From Hell. After defeat, an angry Gordon faces the media and makes it clear to the players that much work is needed if they are to live up to his expectations. Back to the training ground then for these Queen Park players and whilst these coaches are not bad in comparison with the rest of the league, Gordon will have to rely on managing director Christine Wright to bring in any extra staff. So lots of team bonding sessions have been planned ahead to maximise performance and hopefully improve the team cohesion at the club. Don't forget another rule at the club is that Gordon can only sign players he has worked with meaning he cannot sign any players this year. This, however, has not stopped Head of Youth Development Gardner Spears planning for the future, and he is shopping for young players like their toilet paper in the lockdown. In comes Liam McGuigan. Hopefully, any young players he brings in will be better than this one. Jason Stokes looks just that with a five-star potential. This one could be exciting. So after some double sessions in training, Queen's Park are back in action against Elgin. This is Gordon's first home game. Can they perform better than they did last time? It took a while to get going, but they finally took the lead through Aggieman after 68 minutes and secured a fantastic victory in injury time with a long distance strike from the same man. This also gave him the man of the match award, and he looks pretty chuffed with himself, don't you think? The fans seem chuffed as well, commenting on the style of play and the formation in particular. Despite this, Gordon still wants to play around with his tactics to continue the improvement being made. He has done it again people, Gardner Spears has signed another youngster in James Stoke. He doesn't look too bad with 4 star potential and as a winger his crossing and speed attributes look pretty promising as well. Christine Wright is also getting in on the action as well as the club announced they have brought in a head coach to help us out. If everything was looking rosy it certainly isn't now, with Jake Davidson coming out and demanding first team football. A few angry words are exchanged between Jake and Gordon with the player finally demanding his loan move to be terminated. In true Gordon style, Gordon tells the player where to go and gives him his final answer. So back to Gordon's first win and due to the quality of the performance, three of the players have been announced in Team of the Week. Despite more love from the fans, Gordon's assistant Laurie Ellis had a different opinion, demanding more tactics were prepared. I wonder if Gordon would listen to him. In other news, Liverpool have been announced as European Super Cup champions after beating Chelsea 3-2. One day, we will be there. And we're back to action again as Gordon faces a tough test against Hearts Reserves in the Cup tonight. After battling hard, Queen's Park succumbed to a late winner from Ewan Henderson in the 90th minute. You fraud! What are you doing? Hugh Wizzy has obviously converted from Arsenal to Queen's Park as a fan and it seems he is influencing other fans' opinion on social media. Hopefully Gordon can prove the haters wrong in their next game against Stenhouse Murr, despite being the underdogs. A poor first half is followed by an assertive Gordon Ramsay ear bashing, with him paying particular attention to McLean. Cue an improvement in form and then energised McLean who popped up just after the hour mark to smash a bullet header into the top corner. Pyaw! An unlikely victory thanks to the man in the match McLean, but despite this the fans were still unhappy slate and poor performances from other members of the team. Another three players, however, are in Team of the Week. Gordon was starting to feel the confidence flowing through the squad. He's at it again, people. Another new signing. Conor McCullum this time. He doesn't look that good, but Brittany, I mean Gardner, seems to know what he's doing, with two of the previous signings being mentioned by Laurie Ellis at a recent meeting. Can Queen's Park get a victory in their next game against Albion Rovers? In a game they were expected to win, McLean again is the hero, with another header sealing victory. Gordon was very impressed with David Gould in particular after the win, but the fans were still not impressed. With one week left until the transfer window closes, will Gardner Spears bring in anybody else? You bet he will. Craig Reed has agreed to join the club and he doesn't look half bad either. We probably won't see him much though in this game. 
So before our final game today, the team are given a confidence boost, with Goal and McLean both being announced as Team of the Week. Can this inspire us to another victory, but this time against Brecken? The team line up with their 3-4-2-1 formation, which seems to be working so far. Slater gives the team the lead with a superb free kick from here to the box, and with 10 minutes to go, Billy Mortimer unleashed a venomous shot which rips through the net and gives Queen's Park a 2-0 win. That leaves Gordon's men in second place and one point behind leaders Cove Rangers. With the fans now warming up to the winning football on display, can Queen's Park continue this good run of form in their upcoming fixtures, which includes a rematch against Annan, who beat them on the opening day of the season? Find out in the next episode of Football Clubs from Hell.